Ever wonder how very few people seem to make years worth of progress in only a few months while you're out there grinding away, barely moving the needle? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have a few simple tools and techniques to skyrocket your productivity and keep you from being distracted. Here are 15 one-time decisions that 100x your productivity so you can go ahead and crush your goals. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, get a whiteboard. There's a massive difference between what's inside your head and what you manifest into reality. One of our top productivity hacks is having a whiteboard, where at the very top we write our next big goal. The whiteboard sits in our office next to our workplace, so we can't miss it. Something incredible happens to our brain when we put things in writing. Taking an idea from your mind and committing it to reality is essential to progress. It allows you to take a step back and see what you're trying to build, very much like an architect or a designer figuring out what could be improved. There's a link in the description to the one we use, but any whiteboard will do. Number two. Don't try to remember anything. The main function of your brain is not to remember things, but to generate ideas that bring value to your life. So start writing things down. The notes function in your iPhone works just fine and it's free. If you're more hipstery, you can start carrying around a notepad and quickly put things down as they come to you. When it comes to events or things you have to do, Everyone successful uses a calendar for a reason. We actually prefer Google Calendar over the Apple one. Everything goes in there. Number three, find your peak hours. Don't kid yourself, okay? There are certain moments during the day where you are at the top of your game. These are called your peak hours. For most people, they happen during the morning. For others, maybe the first half of the day. And I know you might be thinking that you're a midnight owl. We thought so as well, until we compared our results and realized we only thought we were more productive during the night. 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. is when we absolutely crush it. Once you identify your peak hours, block out two to four hours per day to be able to focus your attention in that time on the things that truly matter. We'll talk about this more at number 11 on our list. Use your peak hours consistently for progress and you'll never have to worry about getting shit done ever again. Number four, prepare things the night before. This has been one of the biggest productivity hacks that we use. Everything we prepare the night before gets done the following day. It's like some kind of weird cheat code. If we put our trainers by the door and tell ourselves, tomorrow morning we're going running, we're four times more likely to actually do it. If we set things up so the next morning we can work on the Sunday motivational script, everything falls naturally into place. The fewer the distractions there are between you and your goal, the higher the likelihood you'll put in the work. So prepare things the night before and you're already halfway there. Number five, 10 minutes of mind focus per day. This was a true game changer. Every morning while having our coffee, we'll spend 10 to 15 minutes looking out the window and defragmenting our minds. It's a combination between meditation and self-coaching. We think about our goals. We break down how we can achieve them. We would think about the successful case studies we've encountered and how they managed to turn things around. Ideas from books that we read years ago would come back to mind and things would click. It's almost like we had a personal mentor in our mind trying to help us figure out what our next steps should be. We've been doing this consistently for the past 10 years and it's been by far the thing that made the biggest difference. People never think productively about their lives. Their minds are in a continuous state of chaos and worry, so they never think with purpose. When we realized this, we knew other people would immensely benefit from it, so we built something incredible. 
The Alux app does this for you and people are blown away by how impactful it is. Put your headphones on and for 10 minutes, allow us to be your coaches and see what happens in your life. Go to alux.com slash app and try the seven day experience for free. We'd like to take this opportunity to give a special shout out to Ryan Jimenez, an Aluxer who has over 100 days of daily sessions. For those of you who struggle with procrastination, lack of focus, lack of discipline, and the feeling of being lost, the app solves this for you. But you have to download the app and do it for 10 minutes a day in order for it to work. Your choice. Number six automate investments and bill payments. We hate paying bills. It's boring, time consuming and a waste of our energy. So we automate everything. We've set up reoccurring payments for all of our utilities and subscriptions. Once a year, we pull out a statement to make sure everything is as it should be. It takes us less than two hours per year to deal with all of it. This eliminates late fees and the annoying phone calls from the company where they check up on you to make sure you're going to pay your bill or invoice. We don't want to deal with any of that, so we set up automated systems. It's the same with our investments. In moments of market downturn, we don't want to wait and time the market. We set up recurring buys and even set up parameters for our investments. If a stock drops by 10%, buy X amount. If a stock or crypto drops by 20%, buy Y amount. We are dollar cost averaging consistently. This has brought freedom to our minds as we no longer refresh CoinGecko or TradingView to see what's happening. Unless we have plans for specific investments like buying real estate, a percentage of our income goes directly into the S&P 500 via Vanguard. Our time is precious and valued at a high dollar amount. We can't be wasting it on low value efforts. Number seven, put a cap on consumption. If given the opportunity, people will overconsume. It's been programmed into our DNA millions of years ago, and this applies to everything, food, drugs, entertainment, and more. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, if you found berries in a tree, you would eat all of them because you never knew if you'd be able to find more berries again. This is why more people are now dying of obesity than hunger in the world. People are binge watching meaningless entertainment that they don't even enjoy. You make an effort to go to the gym, maybe to eat clean all week, and then your friends want you to go out. All of those gains, they go away because of a reckless night of drinking. Now, we're not saying to never go out, don't watch Netflix, and don't eat tasty food, but you've got to put a cap on it. One glass of alcohol, one 50-minute episode, one burger. It's the lifestyle that gets you the results, not the focused effort for small periods of time. Number eight, quality over quantity. There's an old saying that we really love that goes like this. When you buy cheap, you buy twice. You can't afford to buy cheap stuff. You're better than this. Install this mental model. If you can't choose between two items, then choose the one of higher quality. And this applies to everything in your life. Furniture, clothes, food, etc. Increase quality as high as you can afford to. Number nine, no is your new default. Stop saying yes to everything and everyone. Stop taking more things onto your plate that are not your responsibility or serve you. You have a limited capacity for execution. Every time you say yes to something you don't want to do, you're saying no to things that you actually do want. This is why most people feel like they're not pursuing the things they really want to pursue. They keep saying yes to bullshit. You don't get it. This is your only shot at life. Time is limited and it's passing by faster and faster. Saying yes now to social gatherings or to new work projects will only lead to unnecessary decisions in the future. Unless it's a hell yeah, it's a no. Number 10, have attainable life-changing goals in place. 
Remember the whiteboard example? At the top, we add our next big goal. Then we deconstruct it, apply the ALUX framework, and start pursuing it strategically. Following a tested framework for success dramatically increases our chances of hitting goal after goal. You need to know where you're going, how you're going to get there, what tools you have at your disposal or need to acquire, and who is going to help you get there. Normal people just wish things were different. They all have a sort of vague plan about what life will be like if, by magic, things get better. Not successful people. Successful people have a clear path to success. If you want to learn how to set and pursue goals like the most successful people out there, go to alux.com goals and make sure you're on the waiting list for goal mastery. We only open our doors twice per year for one week only. The email lets you know when that happens because trust us, you don't want to miss out on this one again. Number 11, one task to win the day. People think you need to be some kind of superhuman in order to get the things you want out of life. But these people are wrong and probably lazy. Here's the only thing you need to do. Every day, set one task that moves your life forward, but do it every freaking day, okay? What's one thing you will definitely do today that is progress? Not maintenance, not the regular stuff, these are just keeping you afloat. What's the one thing that you'll do today that pushes you forward just a little bit? And then do it. You're not winning the day unless that task gets achieved. Some days it could be the same thing. Others it could be completely different, but find it. We guarantee you that there is a specific task you can do every day that leads to progress. Once you find it and get it done, you can return to your regular life knowing that you're actually getting closer to that big goal. Number 12 work and study music. We can work without music, but we found we're actually more productive with it. Here's how you do it. You don't want to have to select songs mid-work as this will crush your focus. Music shouldn't distract you from what you need to do, so steer clear from songs with lyrics. Combine this into long-ass playlists and have them on repeat. Depending on what we're working on, we'll use hip-hop instrumentals or lo-fi music. The best song for productivity is the one you never hear. We're actually considering bringing focus and productivity music to the Alux app. There are different moods for writing, trading, designing, writing code, and most of it is without proper scientific backing. And you know, we should fix that and make it available for free. Number 13. Food and Cleanups we love cooking, but cooking as a culinary experience. We love cooking for friends and loved ones. What we don't like is time wasted with every single meal. People spend 45 plus minutes a day sourcing and preparing meals. Here's how we solved it. Grocery delivery once a week. We get fresh produce delivered to our house with everything we possibly need, including drinks and everything else. In terms of actual food, five days of the week we get food delivered to our home. All meals of the day arrive at 8 a.m. This includes three meals and two in-between snacks, optimized for health and caloric consumption. We select the kind of cuisine we want, and it's all taken care of, and these services are now available just about everywhere in the world. And we do the same thing for cleaning our home. It's super time consuming and we have people coming in with professional products that get the job done in a fraction of the time it would take us. Now, if you think you can't afford to externalize your meals, you can cook in bulk on Sunday, try to eat the same meal every day or those weird meal replacement shakes. Otherwise, you'll simply eat what's easy, available, and convenient, which is often not overly healthy. Pro tip, don't eat within three hours of going to bed. You'll sleep way worse if you eat right before going to sleep. Thanks to Joe Rogan for that tip. Number 14, remove temptations from your life. Your success depends on 
Setting the right environment. Very much like plants, some environments nurture us for growth while others keep us from achieving our true potential. You want to make an effort to not sabotage yourself. It might sound kind of obvious, but if you're trying to lose weight, don't leave chocolate on the dining table. You want to remove temptations from around you because early on, your willpower is weak. You want to design your life so it comes easy for you to do the things that will help you to thrive. Most of the time, people take the bad actions out of boredom because that bad action is right there looking them in the face, calling their name. Number 15, clothes. I don't know what to wear is one of those incredibly annoying things people have to deal with. In reality, you're in this situation because you fail to obey by the number eight decision. Your closet is filled with low quality products. When you have quality things, it's easy to find the right fit. There are two ways to go about this. You either go full Steve Jobs and wear basically the same outfit every day with tiny variations, or you Google capsule wardrobe and buy everything needed to last you for years. Capsule wardrobes are complete catalogs of pieces that will go well with one another. This way, you have hundreds of potential outfits with roughly 30 pieces of clothing. The more minimalist the approach, the better. Either way, reduce the decision-making involved in getting dressed so you don't have to worry about it. Now, which of these 15 one-time decisions do you think would have the biggest impact on your life when applied? We're curious to see your perspective on this, or if there's anything to be added to the list. We know we left a couple of good ones out. Now, for those of you still watching with us, of course, we've saved you a special bonus. Rest purposefully. Now, here's the thing. You're not meant to be productive 24-7, 365. You're not a machine, all right? Even machines that run nonstop eventually break down because of wear. You need to learn to rest purposefully. And believe it or not, most people, they've got no idea how to rest. They live their lives for the weekend, and when it comes after five days of miserable work, they try to fit as much stuff into that weekend as possible. And they do the same thing with trips and holidays. If you've ever returned from a holiday feeling like you need an extra week to recover from the holiday that was meant to refill your batteries, you're doing rest wrong, my friend. Highly successful people are like lions. You don't see the lion running around nonstop. The lion hunts purposefully. When the time comes, the lion gives the absolute best performance possible in order to take down the prey. Then they rest until it's time to hunt again. This is the same strategy you'll use to make big leaps in your life. But if the lion was exhausted all of the time, it would starve to death. You need rest. You need to rest purposefully. You need to rest to refill your batteries. Stop opening up new tabs in your mind. It's the same with your computer. It makes it run slower than it should. Rest your mind by closing the tabs you have open. Rest your body so it doesn't hurt all of the freaking time. Only then will you be ready for the hunt. Now, if this opened up your eyes to what needs to happen, then write the word hunt in the comments. Let's see who's a lion while everyone else is just prey. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.